All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a macro with Visual Basic code that will allow you to save a workbook and close it all at once. So to do so, it's good to have the developer tab available so that we can just write the code directly from there. If you're in, um, to add this, if you're in a Mac, you would use preferences like so. But if you were in Windows, you'd want to go to Excel Options. And we want to find the Developer option, checkbox that, and that will give us the tab and all of its functionality. Now to write the code, you want to go to Visual Basic. You want to go here to open up or insert a new module. And I'll start typing a subroutine. I want to call it, oops, I want to space save and close put parentheses after that and as I went down to the next line can you see that uh, the end of the macro already populated for me so now I just need the code that will save save the workbook and close it so I, I want it to happen to only this workbook that we're in the active workbook type close space, save changes, colon, equals, true, if, uh, ooh, can't get true in there, if I wanted to close the workbook and it not save, then I would just put false there. So now I can X out of here, X out of here, and then, since I did create a macro, I'd want to save this as a macro enabled workbook in XLSM. I already have it saved so I want to cancel that. And now I can add a button. Now right here is a button. I'll click on this. Click in a cell. I'm going to attach it to the save and close macro that we just created and click OK. And so I have my button now. I When I click this, Excel will uh, save and close. There won't be any prompts to ask me to if I want to save the workbook or anything. Now, having a button is nice, but it, it could clutter your sheet if you have other buttons or or uh, maybe you just have text and formulas that you don't you don't want the button getting in the way. So things like this I'd like to put in the quick access toolbar. So let's see to get there. Just go to preferences, ribbon and toolbar. Uh, quick access toolbar. Oh, and I already have actually an old icon <laughs> from an old uh, cell. But just to show you how to add this, how I would add this again, go to macros. There's the uh, VBA code or the macro that we just created. We click on that. Make sure we're on quick access toolbar. Otherwise, you'd be adding to the ribbon. Uh, we'll click this over button. And I don't want this default icon. And I'd also like to rename this. So if I click on this, I can click down here, rename. I'm going to choose the same icon, but I'd also like to rename this just so the name is not so long. Save and close. But you have all these options. You could choose whichever icon you want. and. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. It's not going to matter. I usually try to keep a short name for the ribbon so it doesn't take up much space. But up here it's only going to show the icon, so it doesn't matter what you name it. Click Save. I'll save that. And then X out of there. And so that's it. I have my quick access toolbar icon that will save and close as well as my button. Let me test it out. There I go. Let me bring the document back. And I'll test out my quick access button. Alright, work. Thanks for watching.